Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? My name is Bryson and I'm one of your student interns. Now, real quick before you do anything, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss a thing. Also, follow us on all of our socials. We have Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and TikTok. Now, check out this funny video. Dude, how do you feel? Wasn't that a funny video? Let us know in the comments what you thought. Now, we have two announcements for you. If you haven't been keeping up with our worship videos, we have a whole playlist. Go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description. Second, we started our in-person services now, on the weekends, in the gym. We hope to see you there. Now onto this week's sermon. Hey y'all, my name is Hannah and I'm one of your next gen interns. And this week we are continuing the series, Main Character. And we are gonna be talking about living your life on film. Think about this. We've all seen movies where one character acts nicely in front of everyone, but as soon as they're alone, they completely change. No one else knows what's happening except the audience like you and no one can save them from what's coming next. You can yell at the screen as much as you want, but they're still not gonna hear you. You just have to watch and let it happen. For example, let me tell you about one of the most iconic millennial movies of all time, Mean Girls, the movie that has a line, She doesn't even go here. <laughs> that movie starred Lindsay Lohan right before she lost her marbles. If you don't know anything about it, it stars Katie. The main character becomes friends with all the Mean Girls just to get all the cheese man to tell her friends just so they can make fun of it. She changes the way she talks, dresses, just to fit in with the mean girls. But eventually she starts to forget who she is and her real friends see that and she ends up losing them too. All because she lost her authenticity. Which brings me to my first point. Be authentic with yourself. There comes a point in life where you start living for something other than yourself in a relationship with God. You start to change to fit in with the people around you. It could just be the way you talk, the way you dress, or even the things you like. You're just wanting to fit in with people so much because you're so tired of being alone. Who wouldn't be? This COVID season has definitely left me super lonely. At the beginning, I won't even lie. I didn't think this whole COVID thing was that big of a deal. I didn't think it would last the seven months it has. I would still go out and hang out with friends just to see what food places are open and just hang out literally doing nothing. But I started to realize how serious it was and I would still go out and do whatever I wanted despite how I was feeling on the inside. I was just scared to live alone. I don't live with parents. I don't live with siblings. I literally live alone. I was compromising my own thoughts just to be around people. I will tell myself that it was fine to do whatever I wanted, but when in reality, this wasn't the time for that. Now close your eyes and think about those who are currently in your life. It could be your family. It could be your friends. Do you feel like yourself or do you feel like you're just someone living a certain way to fit in with those around you? Do you feel like you are you? Do you feel like you're the person you feel like you are when no one else is around? Now open your eyes and think about this. Everyone likes an authentic main character rather than a fake one. But do you know who loves an authentic main character? It's our God. For God has created us to be who we are because it says in Psalms 139, 14, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. It doesn't say, hey, I'm just basic like everybody else. I'm just like a cookie cutter. It says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Just think about that. We are all unique. Which brings me to my next point, which could be just a little bit hard. Number two, be authentic with others. How many of you have the fear of someone not liking you just because of who you are? You can't really change who you are. I know I have that issue more times than I would like to admit, but I have to remind myself that my God loves me just like it says in 1 John 4.16. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. You have to believe that God is going to place people in your life on purpose, that have the intention of loving you for you no matter what. Now let me tell you, people are going to say they 100% love the authentic you rather than the fake you. You're gonna be able to laugh, cry, and just live life with them. You may not see it right away, but there's someone who is always ready to live your life with you. Did I lose friends during this time? Of course, it's COVID. Who didn't lose people during this time? And it wasn't fun at all. But what I was able to do was grow closer to the best friends that I have now. This relationship is deeper than any other friendship that I've ever had. I just feel so comfortable and that I'm able to be myself and I'm not worried about being too much or being too emotional that she's gonna walk away. 
God is going to place people in your life that you're gonna be able to laugh, cry, and just live life together. You may not see it right away, but there is someone who is always ready to live your authentic life right beside you. Our God wants to live right beside you every single day, every hour, every minute, and even down to the second. He just wants to have that authentic relationship with you. Which brings me to point number three. Be authentic with your relationship with God. How many of you know the definition of omnipresent? The definition of omnipresent is widely or constantly encountered, common or widespread. And our God is omnipresent, which means God is everywhere at the same time. He has been there for every laugh, every tear, every angry outburst, and every smile. He knows our authentic self better than we even know. He loves us like nothing we have ever seen, and there's no way we can compare it. So why wouldn't you want to build an authentic relationship with someone like that? Is it because you're ashamed, afraid of what people will think if you get on your knees, if you raise your hands or even clap during worship? Or maybe it's a medical condition or mental illness. Just know that through every fear and every wrong decisions you've ever made in your entire life, God has been there waiting to build an authentic relationship with you. It's not hard at all either. Just start with some worship in your room for 10 minutes. Open your Bible and just read a passage and see what God is trying to say. Just pray for a few minutes. You can just talk to him like an old friend and I promise you he's listening. You don't have to walk through this alone. Things like this are some of the reasons why we have our life group leaders. They are here for you and they're able to talk to you about anything. They're just here at your disposal. They are here and they root for you all the way. Now let's pray. God, just please help every single one of us figure out who we are and who you intend us to be so we can just work and further your kingdom. Please bring people into each of our lives that we're able to be authentic with and just live life together and just feel safe. We all want relationships with you and to be authentic as you know who we are and you know us better than we even know ourselves. Please give us the courage to talk to our life group leaders and to speak out about the authenticity that we want and being able to be real with them. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you next week to finish off this sermon series. Bye. Wasn't that such a great sermon? We really missed you guys. Don't forget to check out the worship playlist and we'll see you next week.